DeepMind is pushing its industry-leading artificial intelligence into a new, difficult field in the hopes of surpassing the tens of thousands of people who are working in that field after conquering Go and StarCraft. Now, DeepMind has demonstrated their newest AI model, which is expected to be one of the most revolutionary inventions in the past 20 years. So what exactly can it do? It has a 99.99% accuracy in predicting the weather in any location. This is a huge step up from the 74% accuracy which most people working in the field manage to hit. And this is not even all it can do. It can even teach us how to influence the weather in certain conditions. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the most recent artificial intelligence model and its exact capabilities from Google's DeepMind, what else this can do for the meteorology field, and finally, how society could change in the event of artificial intelligence completely taking over a job without humans being able to compete in any way and whether or not us having the ability to change the weather is a good thing or a bad thing. The Alphabet-owned business has been discreetly collaborating with the Met Office for a few years, and the results of their partnership were published today in the journal Nature. In a nutshell, DeepMind has developed a new machine learning model that can forecast whether or not it will rain in the following future. Precipitation nowcasting is a kind of weather forecasting that predicts rainfall on a very short period, up to two hours before a storm. Today's weather forecasts are quite good at predicting rain in the future, anything from six hours to a couple weeks. However, any sooner than that, blind spots develop, and here is where machine learning may help fill in the gaps. A downpour isn't only inconvenient for someone who recently had their hair done. The ability to predict heavy rain in advance is critical for daily yet critical circumstances including road safety, air traffic control, and flood early warning systems. Extreme weather occurrences, such as severe rainstorms or flooding, will only grow more common as the climate crisis worsens. The capacity to anticipate rainfall more accurately and quickly is critical for making prompt decisions in certain scenarios, such as stopping a train or evacuating a building. The data was put into a Deep Generative Network DGN, which is a type of AI that is trained to produce new data samples that are remarkably close to the original data it was trained on. Imitation faces, including fake Rembrandts, have been created using GANs. DGMR, which stands for Deep Generative Model of Rainfall, learned to create false radar pictures that followed the sequence of actual observations in this example. According to Shakir Muhammad, who lead the Deep Mind study, it's similar to viewing a few frames of a movie and anticipating what would happen next. According to Niall Robinson, head of partnerships and product innovation at the Met Office, who co-authored the paper, machine learning algorithms usually aim to optimize for one basic metric of how excellent their forecast is. However, weather forecasts may be beneficial or harmful in a variety of ways. Perhaps one prediction predicts precipitation in the appropriate spot but at the wrong intensity, while another predicts the proper mix of intensities but in the wrong regions, and so on. We spent a lot of time and effort in this study evaluating our algorithm against a variety of metrics. Radar imagery is used by the Met Office to forecast when the skies will open up. Radar works by firing a beam into the atmosphere and measuring the time it takes for it to return, which informs you how much moisture is there. There will be more rain if there is more moisture. The data is then transferred to the Met Office's headquarters, where it is analyzed to provide a picture of precipitation across the United Kingdom. DeepMind's model was trained using radar images from the United Kingdom between 2016 and 2018, allowing it to anticipate what would happen in an hour or two. The researchers also tested their model with more than 50 Met Office meteorologists. The meteorologists were instructed to compare DeepMind's DGMR technique against another nowcasting method called as PiSteps, as well as another deep learning method, in a blind research. In over 90% of situations, DeepMind's model outperformed the others in terms of accuracy and utility. According to the researcher's academic article, existing supercomputers are accurate at forecasting low-intensity rainfall, using data such as wind speeds. The new technique, which relies on computers to understand connections between radar data and rainfall, performs better in medium to heavy rain events, which are becoming more common as a result of climate change. We'll be able to forecast how unpredictable the world has become as a result of our actions. DeepMind's projections are only accurate up to 90 minutes ahead of time, 
and the company hasn't revealed how much better they are than current techniques. Even still, as soon as AI does anything, it's reasonable to wonder if it will be able to accomplish everything. Will we one day have totally accurate weather forecasts? Would we want to live in a world if we knew the weather every day of our lives? Is that how it is in Australia? Because weather systems are so complicated, it's not going to happen. However, the death of uncertainty would be odd. Yeah, we have wedding availability in June 2024, but don't book since it's likely to rain. For better or worse, we'd be less startled. Because everything would be properly organized, there would be fewer cancellations, and our lives would become even busy. If there was no uncertainty, would we talk about the weather less or more? More importantly, I believe that those who have read the prognosis will wish to share the message. The likelihood of rain would remain the apolitical icebreaker it is now. Of course, it's strange that we enjoy discussing the weather yet hate discussing the environment. Would I rather know the weather for the next two hours or influence the environment for the next two decades? A prediction is only as good as the response it generates. Other scientists aren't as taken aback by the findings. A meteorologist from the University of Reading said, I don't see any revolution in predicting here. And he is perplexed by their reliance on this statistic to demonstrate the utility of their approach. He's still perplexed as to why they didn't utilize a more suitable objective score. There isn't much information on how the assessments were conducted, or even what was assessed. DeepMind does not provide a specific figure for how much more accurate their model is compared to other models. Rather than reporting a single figure, we wanted to adopt a more measured approach, according to DeepMind. DeepMind's study might just give an alternative method to rain forecasting, rather than entirely disrupting the industry as we know it. It performs similarly to other cutting-edge versions now on the market. However, their model isn't much ahead, in fact, it may be somewhat superior. A meteorologist from the University of Manchester, David Schultz, agrees. The suggested method appears to outperform them. Is this a game-changer? I'm not sure. Is this a significant improvement over some of the current techniques in their paper? Yes. Several newspapers and magazines, including the UK's Sunday Times and Arabian Business, reported in January 2011 that scientists backed by the government of Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, had created over 50 artificial rainstorms near Al Ain, the country's second-largest city, between July and August 2010 near the country's border with Oman. The man-made rainstorms were claimed to have occasionally produced hail, gales, and thunderstorms, perplexing locals cloud seeding as a popular method for increasing precipitation. Cloud seeding is the practice of spraying tiny particles onto clouds, such as silver iodide, in order to influence their formation, generally with the objective of enhancing precipitation. Although there are no immediate plans to utilize the model, the team aims to use it to influence future weather reports in the future. However, the researchers claim that AI would never be able to completely replace weather forecasts, You'll need specialists and humans in the loop to ensure that what they're seeing in terms of forecasts is reasonable, and then how to convey it to the general public. It's difficult to see an automated system performing all of these tasks with the required delicacy and competence. DeepMind's partnership with the Met Office is an excellent example of AI development that involves input from the end user, which seems like a no-brainer but seldom happens. The team worked on the project for several years, with professional advice from the Met Office shaping it. It drove our model development in a different direction than we would have gone on our own, says deep mind researcher Suman Rivori. Otherwise, we may have created a model that was eventually useless. Deep mind is likewise keen to show that its artificial intelligence has real-world applications. DGMR, like AlphaFold, is part of Shakir's story. The firm is cashing in on its years of solving difficult issues in gaming. The most important message here is that DeepMind is now starting to cross real-world science issues off its bucket list. So, what is your opinion on DeepMind's newest and most advanced AI model? Do you believe it can take over an entire industry? Do you believe its ability to teach us how to change the weather, and if it's possible in the first place to accurately predict the weather over a long period of time? Should we be able to do that in the first place? Please share your opinion with us in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.